and this is Met. Well, actually, I I think one year ago since my last video uploaded on YouTube and naisip kong gumawa ng video sa araw na to kasi ang dami ko talagang nare-receive ng mga messages and they were like asking mga tanong kung paano yung process ko or experiences ko regarding with my applications here in US. So, I try my best to answer those questions at sana makatulong po sa inyo. Okay, so ito yung mga ilang questions na na-receive ko uh, through messages from random people na actually hindi ko kilala but as much as possible. Ay, gusto ko talagang sagutin kasi I know yung feeling na applicant ka and you are waiting for so long. So, gusto ko kahit papano po ma-address po yung mga ilang questions nyo. Uh, this is my personal experience for regarding with my application. So, hindi ko na lang siguro po babanggitin yung mga names for their privacy. So, let's start with this question. Ang sabi niya, if my placement fee daw ba yung application ko? Um, I, uh, my answer is no. I know some of the agencies in the Philippines, meron din po pa, uh, merong mga placement fee, but my agency, IPR Philippines po, is don't have any placement fee. And yung second question, sabi niya, ilang years po yung waiting nyo with your visa application? Okay, so yung application ko po kasi, I started uh, passing my application at my agency that was 2018 July. And nag-start yung process ko talaga with my visa, I think 2019. So, ang waiting ko is like uh, like two years before I got my uh, U.S. Embassy interview. So, yun po yung uh, based on my own experience as a nursing assistant. Kasi alam ko po, iba-iba din talaga ng uh, waiting uh, period yung mga applicants and yung mga nurses, iba din po sila. So, yun po. Two years po ang sa akin. Okay. So, this is the third question. Sabi niya, Ma, mahirap po ba yung interview sa U.S. Embassy? Okay. So, based on my own experience po kasi, uh, sabi nga nila, it depends on the console din. Pero yung na-experience ko, yung first ko, like document screening, I can, hindi naman sa mahirap kasi those questions naman is talagang personal and then, Meron din civil documents and mas nagtagal ako sa contract. So, you just have to be honest with your answer. You don't need to pretend anything. Sabihin niyo kung ano yung totoo sa mga uh, tinatanong sa inyo. Just answer directly and don't give like, siguro isang mabibigay ko lang na tips. Eh, kung anong tanong, yun lang yung sagot. Kung ano yung documents na hingin, yun lang yung ibigay. So, wag na magdagdag ng kung ano pa. And siguro later on, kapag sinipag ako, I will make a separate video with my US Embassy interview. Okay, so the fourth question, sabi dito, um, pwede po ba ang midwife sa nursing assistant? Um, ang pagkakaalam ko po is, as long as you have your NC2 caregiving certificate, you have the experience as nursing aide, nursing assistant or caregiver, uh, you can apply po. You okay, here's the next question. How long does it take to processing in terms of months from the start of your application? So, yun nga po na sagot ko. Mm, alos two years din po talaga siya. Pero kung hindi po siguro nag-pandemic talaga, mas naging earlier pa kasi... Uh, medyo tumagal lang talaga siya doon no? sa so when it comes waiting sa US Embassy interview and I heard now na parang madami din talagang nakapending doon sa US Embassy interview But dahil alam naman natin dyan sa Manila na parang on and off yung kanilang uh, uh, yung US Embassy so yun po and kasi like if you're going to pass your application with IPR the first thing na nagagawin is once they file your application ay hihintayin yung approval for US Department of Labor and then once you are approved, dun sila magpa-process na your applications to USCIS and then after USCIS na maging okay na siya, sunod naman yun is yun, the National Visa Center which is yung document qualifications ng mga civil documents mo and other documents pa. And 
after that, once na ma-qualified ka na for uh, National Visa Center, yun na yung waiting mo, I think, for US, uh, US Embassy interview. And yun nga, yung experience ko, umatak siya ng two years talaga. Pero madali na po yun. Compare po dun sa mga ibang mga applicants na narinig namin yung mga stories nila na talagang matagal. Pero yun nga po, two years po. Okay, next question. Sabi dito, what are the requirements po ng IPR? Philippines para ma-qualified for CNA applications. So, um, marami pong requirements. And kung makikita nyo po yung page nila, I will link down sa description box. And pwede nyo rin po silang i-message. But uh, sa mga natatandaan ko lang na requirements, number one is yung uh, in situ certified caregiving. And then you have at least one to two years experience as CNA or nursing aide, nursing assistant, or caregiving. And then yung mga civil documents mo din. And um, yan. Okay, next question. Pagdating nyo po ba ng US, start agad sa work? Okay, so ganito po. Uh, pagdating po namin dito sa Minnesota, hindi po agad kami nag-start sa facility. Ang nangyari po is nagkaroon po kami pa rin ng uh, online training because they have their own course para sa mga uh, CNA or Certified Nursing Assistant na before tayo mag-start, yung mga galing sa Philippines, before tayo mag-start, even we are certified as caregiver or uh, nursing assistant, nursing aide from Philippines. Uh, kailangan pa rin po natin mag-undergo ng training here. Like we, we had the on-track online training and then we have the relias. So doon po lahat yun. And before kasi noon, after kasi noon pala, uh, kailangan natin mag-take ng uh, certification sa, sa kanilang nursing of registry in Minnesota para maging registered po talaga tayo na mga nursing aid. So yun po. But uh, Hindi man po nag-start sa facilities pa, pero consider as parang start na rin po yun talaga ng uh, na paid na po siya, even nasa training pa lang kayo. So, nakaka-enjoy kasi uh, magka magkakaroon din kayo ng like mga clinical studies sa uh, mga facilities and then, yun nga, yung sa online training, may mga exams din po yun that you need to pass. Okay, so last question, uh, kamusta po yung naging adjustment niyo po pagdating niyo po sa US? Uh, personally po, ako, uh, I thank God kasi sobrang bilis lang yung naging adjustment po. And na thankful din po ako kasi napakaganda rin po ng assimilation program po sa amin. And at the same time, yung support po talaga ng commun uh, Filipino community, sobrang nakaka-overwhelm po sila. They express help and talagang tinutulungan nila kami, bin bin binibigyan nila kami ng mga advices in living here in Minnesota or in US, talagang napaka matulungin po nilang lahat. And talagang alam nyo yung culture nating mga Pilipino na kapag nagkita-kita sa ibang bansa, iskala mo magkakamag-anak. So yun po, sobrang grateful and thankful po talaga kami sa kanila. And before I end this video, gusto ko po magpasalamat kay Sir Jim, na siya pong uh, director ng IPRIA Philippines. And of course, Sir James Acosta, na siya laging driver namin sa aming mga trainings and sa iba pa po. And of course, doon sa aming family host, Ate Cherry and Family, sa iba-iba pa pong mga kasama naming mga Filipino na hindi ko na po talaga ma-mention. And if, if I have chance na makapagpasalamat po talaga, sobrang grateful po kami sa inyong lahat. The offer, yung help, talagang nandyan po sila na talagang kahit dalawa lang po kami na magkasama ng uh, isang CNA na kasama ko ngayon dito sa house talagang hindi po kami pinababayaan and ang Lord na po ang bahalang magbalik sa inyo ng pagpapala so sobrang grateful and thankful po kami and of course sa family ko po sa Philippines mga friends, church family and sa lahat-lahat po ng mga the pray thank you po sa inyong lahat and also for Pastor Dangan thank you din po being a instrument and messenger ng Lord for this opportunity pray so I think kailangan ko nang i-end yung video na so maraming salamat for watching and I hope you like and subscribe this channel and sana I'm looking forward na mas makagawa pa ng video especially if I have time kasi nga yun nga kailangan din mag-edit din so kailangan ng time so, salamat po sa inyong lahat and I hope na uh, maging okay na yung situations talaga natin. Especially there in Philippines na maging free na talaga in this pandemic. Alam ko yung hirap na nararanasan ng bawat isa na 
kahit papano dito, medyo normal na rin naman talaga and hindi na yung katulad talaga nung kasagsaga nung uh, nag-start yung, yung COVID-19. So yun, I just praying to all of you and always keep safe and pagpalain kayong lahat ng Panginoon. God bless and bye!